been working quite hard about that. They've talked a lot about the defense plan, and uh, Coach Ben Gollings will be well happy with the, uh, the, the work rate for Sri Lanka. So Mubarak changes direction, and he's got loads of runners after this ball. And uh, Zakharov get absolutely planted to start the second half on the right foot for Sri Lanka. That was a good tactic from them. Oh, some dummy runners there. Looks like we've got some replacements on. Polyakov coming on full time by the looks of it. But look at the organization here of the back three for Sri Lanka. And that's the way to do it. The deep kicks. Mubarak runs it back well. Fernando's there in support. And Dabare is on the left. But it goes to Marija again who takes on the line. Full of confidence now. The fly half. Good break again. It's Diaz, he's hungry for more points. Like a caged tiger getting out of the box there, Mubarak. And it's uh, Saranga to Devere. Good play here, linking play. Gayan runs behind his support, but manages to squeeze up into the advantage line. But it's a penalty. Hands and release, not releasing the tackler from Gaselnikov. As we said, yeah, some more chit chat, but Gaselnikov there, the converted scrum half. Not completely used to getting himself in the tackle, but uh, doing well on his feet, but then just not releasing the tackler. So, looks like they want that try number four as soon as possible to seal the deal here. <coughs> Kick to the corner, and you'll imagine there's going to be a rolling mall here. The big hungry pack of Sri Lanka. Looks like they're travelling well at half time. Both teams keen to carry on, weren't they? We saw after about three minutes of huddle, they were positioned ready to go for the second half. Two, two, and of course, uh, Raj Baksa now with ball for this line out. Good call, nice clean take. Saranga takes it in, and uh, you'd imagine Namo will join the back of the small. He's got the ball in his claws already, and away they go. Beautiful stuff. He's just a meter away, regains his footing, and crashes again for the line. Again denied by the Kazakhstan defence. This could be the winning of the tournament right here. Looks like he's over the line and the try's been scored. Runner Tunga, I think it is. The loose head prop goes over to seal the deal. They've won the tournament. It doesn't matter if uh, Kazakhstan come back. Proud moment for Sri Lankan sport. Absolutely, that uh, cup uh, listing on its own. And the bonus point in the bag now is a target that Sri Lanka had. They were looking to target it in the first half. It didn't happen. Nama Rajapaksa does all the initial grind work. He uh, holds the ball really well. And then Satya Ranatunga from that distance. Tough to stop 135 kg. So great try there from the young prop. Good to see him doing well. The 24-year-old from the Navy Club. I think last year he, he didn't play the final game, if I, I remember. Somebody got a yellow card, didn't they, or a red card, and he wasn't able to play that final game, and uh, I think your pack suffered too from his absence. We certainly did, and we had a, a very young side out as well, so interesting, that's what I was saying earlier on, to see the whole of Sri Lanka's clubs represented in this uh, unified Sri Lanka side in 2013, and it's uh, really uh, showing much profit for Sri Lanka rugby. Wonderful to do that uh, also with Riza just shaving the uh, right upright. Should have been a bread and butter kick for him, unfortunately. Maybe just rushed it a little bit. Nevertheless, a delighted Sri Lankan audience. And of course, everybody watching around Europe and Asia absolutely uh, stuck to their seats. Yeah, it's the first miss from Uberak today. Six from seven, but uh, the score at 35-6. And the fact that they have managed to give themselves promotion to next year's top five is a satisfying moment and i'm sure they won't stop there the wind won't get out of the sails just yet because they've certainly got the edge over this kazakhstan team there's lafontov again he's had plenty of practice today at kicking off and he's got it down almost perfect but again dr thwarts him the man under the high ball and you can see the aerial skills there from the basketball player marija decides to put in a little test here for the Back three from Kazakhstan, Zola Tuhin does well. In fact, that's part of the plan, Mikey, sorry, uh, to have uh, Riza come in at number 10 and Mazel Fazil stand wide. So, uh, Zanzatov again with some ball running. But again, it's so slow to regroup the Kazakhstanis. Akimbekov have held him up. This could be a maul again. That's something they've really tried to practice, the Sri Lankans. 
collapses and it will be Sri Lankan ball. So mission accomplished there from the tighties. Did well in holding the Kimbakov off. Part of that plan and part of that defensive plan in the pack is to uh, let the Kazakhs run at you, then hold them up as much as possible because they tend to isolate themselves. And the Sri Lanka's three to one. You saw the equation very clearly. And a good, good plan, good ball, well executed. He's been a star today, Diaz, hasn't he, in the pack? If uh, we were going to pick a man of the match at this early stage, he'd certainly be one of the contenders along with the number 10 from Sri Lanka. Well, there's marks on them for sure, and it'll be interesting to see who will come out as the MVP, uh, Mike. So again, look at the formation of running here as uh, Devare looms up from the left. Nice work, although Gaselnikov has it now, and uh, drop ball again from Akimbikov. Another turnover, good advantage here from Otsuki, floating pass, gets it out wide to Herat. Again, numbers are there for Sri Lanka to secure that ball. Roshan is molested by Gaselnikov. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting to see the style that Gaselnikov plays. He's a scrum half, but uh, as a forward, he's got that niggling style about him. But uh, sadly, he uh, goes beyond the bounds of legality sometimes. Aye, and he was just not able to control himself. Uh, he just uh, wouldn't stop himself in the process. I ended up giving a penalty away. So Sri Lanka will now uh, try to kick in the corner and uh, get close to the line as possible and try and grind a little bit more because they're going to use that pack advantage now. They want to use the Petra they've got and really uh, wear Kazak down. Some of the crowd enjoying the rugby. As we said, reasonably a big crowd in the thousands. So Great day for Sri Lankan sport, and uh, it's been well supported all week. Certainly has. There's been a lot of publicity on the uh, the local channels, of course, and uh, the uh, print has really supported it. So, not going the five metres by the looks of it. A um, little knock on, perhaps at the front there. Uh, tight forwards are looking good, and you can um, you can just imagine that. Uh, top five time they're going to be able to compete with most of the teams Japan accepted they're obviously at another level in Asian rugby but uh, you look at the likes of Hong Kong UAE Korea and you just get the feeling that this Sri Lankan pack have developed so much in two years absolutely spot on uh, Mike you're right on the button it's something that we've been talking about and uh, I've been saying for a while now that we need to look at an 800 to 900 kg pack of mobile forwards and that's something that we're really focusing on here in Sri Lanka see here they've got the edge scrum time Chernik the old warrior looking a little flustered in his work no more Roger Paxit qualified lawyer and hooker there free kick for Sri Lanka so referee senses too there's a little bit of uh, superiority now from the Sri Lankans as Saranga takes it away Roshan the base of the ruck gets it out nicely to Marija who again takes on the line good strong bid from him ball squirts out Roshan's there though dummies himself knock on though the front off with another big hit Gayan's looking after his shorter brother there apprehending oh and there's Gayan going in again after the whistle he's not happy with the defense that was put on his diminutive brother there I'm sure that's happened plenty of times in the playground as well in the past too true the two uh, young uh, Rio Ratner brothers there combining is, uh, see here just after he let the ball go in fact dummied so Lafontov coming in a bit higher on the neck and Guyan well, Ratner took exception of that so a bit of aggression yeah, we've got Suki just giving him a little lecture about uh, keeping it a little civil a nice gesture from both uh, skippers shaking hands and saying alright lads let's go back playing rugby that's what we want, that's what it's all about. This is the flagship tournament, it's the finals. Let's make it the best. So a defensive scrum here for Kazakhstan and uh, the way Sri Lanka forwards are playing. There'll be a lot of acid on at scrum time here. Important scrum for Kazakhstan for their pride more than anything. Hold initially and Zanzatov takes the ball off the back, going backwards. Good pressure again from Yoshita Rajapaksa. 
Backs at the wall time here for Kazakhstan. Lafontov stationing himself just on the dead ball line there. Ready for it. And away he goes. Good pressure again from Diaz. He really has got some speed for a big man. Quick put in here. From, goes to Mubarak. Herat. He'll love to use his speed here. Goes through the gap. Nice work. Oh, beautiful stepping from Herat. Popped the ball, but sadly it was to a Kazakhstan player. Still pressure on here from Marija. And over he goes. The referee's given it. Wow, there was a little doubt there 10 metres out, wasn't there? But uh, we'll look at the replays. Referee doesn't have the benefit of a video referee, so he's awarded the try. Well, have a look at this now. Here's uh, the, the kick. That was nothing wrong with that. It was Marja in front, or how did that ball actually pop out? That's just concerning about Marja, sharp as nails. Try time for Sri Lanka. But in the meantime, Southern Herat did really well, Mike, to be able to uh, just cut through. So Marija looking a little wobbly on his legs there, but this will be an easy conversion for Mubarak. Well, I tell you what, Kazakhstan were incredibly lucky that Thailand didn't get uh, a bonus point for four tries because I guess there was a possibility there at one stage that if Chinese Taipei, Thailand and Kazakhstan had uh, all fallen on the same points, it would come down to points differential and this beating that they're getting at the moment would have put them well in trouble of going down to Division 2 next year. So very lucky for that reason as Mubarak lines up his eighth kick of the day. That would be a shocker if Kazakhs was to uh, yes. scale down and slide down into Division 2. Well, to think two years ago they went to the the playoff for World Cup qualification. They took on Uruguay. They were the second place finishers. They beat Hong Kong to second place in the Asian Five Nations and they went to Uruguay, sadly falling over at that hurdle. But uh, you know, they're a team that have been there and done that in rugby terms. Too true, and it's interesting to see that, uh, you know, when you see sides that have had that sort of a, a run and then suddenly to see them with this quality of player, you begin to wonder what actually goes on. Yeah, well, I think the development's missing in, in Kazakhstan, and uh, it's something they'll have to take a good hard look at. And, of course, there's so much money to be made for these players from a poor country like Kazakhstan going to Russia and playing as well. You look at Anton Rudoy, the horse, a legendary player for Kazakhstan. Scored something like 10 Asian Five Nations tries, but not here. And Sri Lanka looking to attack from inside their own half. Devere with the speed, the pace, and he's got men inside. Throws a beautiful pass. Oh, but the next pass just couldn't win a rise. Zakharov with the counter attack. But that was beautiful play there from Sri Lanka. Real confidence coursing through their veins now. Well, yes, Mike, uh, what we need, I suppose, when, you, when you're watching television like this, to see the luxury of good ball. And look at Dabre, the pace, the turn of pace is outstanding. And then the offload, and this was the, uh, the rush pass from uh, Lienegui. Just needed to pop it over the head of the player coming onto him. Or perhaps taking it on a little bit longer. But it uh, didn't happen, and Kazakhstan, grateful for, because they had nobody behind there, really. The doors were open and nobody home. Yeah, and there was good support play from the Sri Lankans, too. You can see that uh, Ben Gollins has been involved with the... With the ball running, the positioning, the passing, all looking very solid. Well, that's a better scrum from Chernik and the Kazakhstan team. Tough ball there for Saranga, but he manages to control it. But Kazakhstan comes through, good steal from them. Oh, there's some real acid going on at tackle time. Akimbekov again, doesn't want to isolate himself. Good support this time. They drive through Baratov to Lefontov, who, of course, kick it downtown. That one, a wobbly old kick, so Mubarak with a good bounce for him and slides a low angled kick into the 22 Lafontov stations himself back goes outside his 22 though and that'll go back out of the fall and uh, looking a little flustered now the Kazakhstan team I think they've played enough today with 27 minutes left in the match they'll just have to get up and go again and assistant referee Taizo Hirabayashi who uh, refereed the uh, earlier game two assistant referee so he's had a bit of running to do today one of the fittest people around no doubt to be able to uh, last the pace in this heat so some substitutes here for Kazakhstan Zuyev is on 21 year old and more Roger Paksa goes to the front knock on though so Saliev goes back does well to retrieve the ball 
Take the musty come off the Kazakhstan hands who are playing on. And uh, Yoshita Rajapax is penalised there. He's uh, typical number seven, isn't he? Really on the edge of the law at all times. Tries his luck. So he does that. He's always there or thereabouts. He'll never let you get away. It's pretty much like a label, really, once he gets going. And uh, of course, we saw All Black captain Richie McCall here earlier this week, so we probably got a few tips off him, too. So he did. It was an inspiring time, uh, Mike. Uh, Richie had uh, a little bit of time with the Sri Lanka team on a one on one. Uh, spent some time in the hotel and just shared some of his World Cup thoughts and how he uh, profiles himself and uh, absolute inspiration, crystal and platinum stuff for our Sri Lankan team. It's good to see players that all making their way to Asia now. Of course, Japan has got many professional players playing and uh, it's good to see the international stars like Ben Gollins and uh, coached now, of course, Sri Lanka by Ravan Duplessis, a South African who spent time in New Zealand as well. So getting an international flavour, learning from the best. Absolutely. And we had Phil Grenning last year when we came out to the Philippines for Sri Lanka in that uh, Division 1 championship. Um, interesting. I'll tell you some stories about Richard McCall when we finish this line-out. So Solichev, again, because it's time with the back to the wall, there's been a lot of defending. Just wouldn't want to see their tempers flare here, Kazakhstan. I'm not looking too happy with the proceedings so far. Baratov is actually an economist for the government in Kazakhstan. A smart young fella. Botika, the sailor, they call Chernik. There's uh, some new blood here for Sri Lanka coming in. In the front row, it's Henry Terence by the looks of it. He'll be itching for some action as well. He's uh, certainly starting 15 material, Henry. That's right. The big number five goes off, and so Anthony comes on for Hasit the Pereira. And uh, Kishore Jehan walks off and lets Henry Terence come back on the park. Captain here at the Havelocks, who were won here after a long, long, long time. So he'll be uh, inspired to try and perform. Zanzatov, who's done the, the bulk of the running today for Kazakhstan, Abdul Razakov being held up but managing to go to ground. Baratov at the back of his collapse more, gets it to Lafontov. Here again, puts in a big kick. Mubarak is back though. He's just sorted up the range from Lafontov, takes it with ease. And puts it up in the air himself. Well, there's going to be a penalty here, I think, for the Sri Lankans in the 10 meter circle. But uh, referee allows them to play on. Marija with a probing little kick, and it's Zolotuhan has to cope with it. Oh, great stuff from Delare! He's away! The young speaks to left wing! That was such sharp work from Fazil Marja. Saw the little gap behind the uh, Kazakh line, and then, of course, the collection. Very lucky bounce, but having said that, this Sri Lanka three quarter line is so sharp on the turn, you give them one inch, they'll take a mile. was a fantastic piece of play as you say Marie just seems to have the ball on the string today <laughs> judged it just nicely and Lafontov wasn't interested Zolo to him couldn't coach Saranga tapped it on a flourish at the finish too and Dabri can fly he's been doing that all this tournament really has been an outstanding tournament for him his third try and uh, he'll be in contention as well as Riza Murak walks back to his mark we talked about Richard McCaw and what he did. He was just talking about his experience and he said, look, when the All Blacks play Sri Lanka or Kazakhstan or France in the World Cup final, the All Blacks play the same format. Um, absolute gold dust from him and he said how, how they managed to uh, hold that one point in the, in the World Cup final and he was saying, he just looked in the eyes of the, his mate next to him and that said it all. So uh, for Sri Lanka to listen to that sort of gold dust was magic. And that is a beautiful kick and he's tapped it in off. Ubarak, great kicking performance from him. <laughs> Salutes the crowd with a smile. And uh, that really is a pinpoint display from him today. He's had some tough kicks to two a coordinator. And the Sri Lankan flags are flying. It's good to see for the local sports scene. What a skipper who's orchestrated it all. There's the two brothers in your frame, the number two and the number seven, Nama Rajapaksa and uh, Yoshita Rajapaksa. You know when they say so, certain things, when things are going right for, for you, everything seems to just fall in place, and that kick epitomizes that, I rather think. 
that sort of thing really does put nails in the coffin if you're on the thin end of the wedge. The front top again keeps it high. Diaz this time struggles into the sun. Will Ratner tidies up nicely. Pot at the back, take it away. Good tight stuff from Sri Lanka. I really should have showed a mix of, of oh, philosophies it's, today in their flying. The forwards have been solid and strong. The back's full of flair. Smoobar gets it away. There's the acknowledgement of the replacements. And it's great to see players like Mubarak who've gone overseas for a bit of experience coming back as well, who obviously feel completely comfortable at this level of rugby. Well, that's something you can see quite clearly from the Sri Lankans' ability to deliver under pressure. And they were under pressure when they came into this game, but now it's done and delivered, really. It's just a case of now showcasing what you have with skill and ability and fitness and, and how much petrol you've got in this engine. Again, untidy lineouts for Kazakhstan. Namal takes it away, but managed to accidentally bang into one of his uh, colleagues. So we'll come back for a scrum for Kazakhstan. Lucky break for Kazakhstan there. Their lineouts really have lacked any technique and teamwork as Belkin, the new hooker, has come on. Hasn't improved the situation by any means, that's for sure. And Zakharov is off as well in the centres. Coming on. And penalty here. We'll take it quickly, I'm sure. Baratov away he goes. Gives it to Akimbakov, who's met ferociously in the tackle and again. They've held Akimbakov off. He really hasn't learned his lesson from the first half, so Kazakhstan are going to have to come in and punch completely over the line here. If they can get it over the line and then get the scrum. Where's the ball? It's good work from the Sri Lankans, held it up. Now can they get the ball to ground? No, they can't. So the Kazakhstanis will win the scrum because it's gone over the try line. So that was lucky for them. But Akim Akimbekov just overrating his strength to get to ground and the Sri Lankans doing a good job of holding him up and denying him that ability to get to ground and forcing a ruck. And akimbekov has been roughed up well and truly. Back, back, back. Kazakhstanis showing some wounds that uh, seem to have <laughs> appeared. It's hard to inflict a back injury when you're in a mall. I can't quite work out how that could have happened, but maybe some concealed weapons or <laughs> I was going to say, how do you get your studs up there when you're standing up? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, hopefully, the Kazakhstanis won't be seeking retribution. And uh, Kimikov showing he won't be considered for any male calendar anytime shortly. And Namol goes off to the appreciation of the audience and his coach. A good shift at the coal face from the hooker. Suddenly he's had an outstanding tournament, really has stepped up to the mark and shown what he's got as a big heart for Sri Lanka. Fabulous to see and good inspiration. Sends it off off the back of the scrum, good work from him as he got support. It comes slowly, but they managed to secure this ball. Baratov to Akimbatov, goes hard again and oh, he's gone over, backed himself. Has the referee seen it? Yes, he's given the try eventually. So good reward there. But absolute stubbornness you'd have to say from Akimbekov but again backing himself so there's a little bit of afters going on from the Kazakhstanis but at last they've got a try anyway well Sri Lanka just uh, running out of numbers in defense there and Kazakhstan for their part finally using a little bit of their wisdom to try and get the ball slightly wider Versus trying to grind it, and eventually just uh, getting over the line. The quarters unable to hold up the big forward, and uh, the referee on the spot, perfect. So the Kazakhstanis getting themselves a try, 49-11. Well, Akimbekov, I've got to say, he's one of their most improved players. He started off four or five years ago as a, a thin 
fella, straight out of... Uh... SLT broadband with him, get there a semitone of Wi-Fi. He's all at sea, but he's, he's come on, he's, at least he's taking on the line, he's reasonably reliable when they're under pressure. And of course they've got Lafontov at the back there too, with a kicking game. Crowd not so silent with that one. That's not the sporting behaviour we expect from a Sri Lankan crowd. Chano? Too true, maybe the sun has got to them as well. <laughs> So Lafontov misses that conversion. So 49 points to 11 as we go to a water break. So let's talk about this year's top five that's coming up in two weeks' time. Sean, uh, you've seen a lot of the teams over the years and, of course, in 2011, had direct experience of Japan and teams like Hong Kong. Do you think, uh, of course, last year, Korea surprised everybody. They'd been relegated the year before. They came up and they finished second. Absolutely shocked Hong Kong and Hong Kong last year. That was a good performance from them. Well, having said all that, I suppose Japan has always been that side, the World Cup side. They've had the quality, they have the, the system and the, the professional backing with the club structure and everything else. Uh, it's interesting to see that, you know, the likes of Hong Kong and then, of course, we have the Philippines step up to the mark as well. It adds another dimension. But I'm not too sure that we're able to uh, get up to that mark straight away because Japan has spent so much time up there. Uh, it'll be interesting to see that uh, Sri Lanka will have to spend a little bit more time now in division, from Premier Division Rugby, and to what, as to what they have to do in terms of professional structuring to survive and stay up there is, is, the, is the criteria. The war gets underway in two weeks' time. On April the 20th, the first televised game will be Japan taking on the new boys on the block, the Philippines and Fukuoka in the south of Japan. So that really is a baptism of fire for the, for the boys from the Philippines. Uh, hopefully they can get over that shock and move on to the next games and have some success. Obviously, the big game that they'll be targeting is the UAE game uh, to decide probably who's going to be relegated. Surprises uh, not taken into account. Of course, Hong Kong have big sevens commitments in the next couple of months. They've got the, the World Cup and also a couple of rounds of IRB. So they're going to be without some of their fast, more athletic men too. So I mean, Hong Kong are going to have to be a little wary. They don't want to sacrifice everything on the sevens and uh, lose face in the fifteens, that's for sure. True, true. Of course, Sri Lanka will be uh, looking towards what they have to do with the Asian Seven Series as well. Philippines will also have some players probably uh, working on that World Cup because they also they won their right to be in that World Cup final and uh, the sevens and Wales will defend that uh, in Moscow so it'll be interesting to see Sri Lanka missed out on that as well so uh, there's a few uh, sour heads when we got back to Sri Lanka on that count but uh, this is it this is the championship now uh, it's a it's a step up which uh, Sri Lanka has been talking about for quite a while and this score is uh, a luxury for Sri Lanka as they go uh, right again to surprise with Grisa Mubarak this time Sulaimanov was uh, ready for it just a young fella 19 years old as they look to probe the blind side here a bit slow well, they were really hoping with some momentum here's Zanzatov again so yeah Dayan Wilderatn has gone off uh, he's also had a very good game linking up well that's right and Dinesh Chaturanga the uh, seven specialist has come on well, Kazakhstan putting some phases together here nice work from Baratov into Veselnikov Baratov again well, this is what we were missing earlier. Maybe it's cooled down enough to get these guys engaged. They've but suddenly remembered. <laughs> <laughs> Zanzatov again goes into contact. He's been a tremendous ball carrier for Kazakhstan today. Oh, simple error there from Abisov. And then only a second international. So it's turnover time. Henry gets it out left. And there's real space here for the Sri Lankans. Nobody can't take the ball the ex-wicket keeper it's four buys he was telling me the other day he's played some top level cricket and kept to Sri Lankan international bowlers <laughs> and that one was through the gloves remarkable stats that you come up with Mike fabulous to know but I think it was faster maybe a, the pass was a little harsh as Dabra was uh, on top speed there let's have a look at it again here he is Buzz is just running into your frame now and uh, just a, yeah it's a little aerial and Dabra is not able to collect cleanly to line out for Kazakhstan. Menshikov goes back to the position he made his debut in. Only 15 minutes left of this game. I just feel that the momentum might have gone out of the Sri Lankan team here. 
for the substitutes. So uh, let's see, there's something chatted with the referee and the touch judge. Let's get the Japanese phrase book out here. Matsuki and Hirobayashi. Japanese subtitles, please. <laughs> so it looks like uh, we have a Kazakhstan infringement here, I think. Let's call him the uh, Kazakh. And uh, 17. 17. It's Abasov who dropped the ball earlier. Obviously a bit angry. I think there was an incident off the ball, and that's something the uh, touch had seen, so the referee is calling him over. Stump. 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 On the body. So, he's getting up. So, it's a yellow card for Abasov. So, that wasn't a good introduction to the game for the young fella dropped the ball and then uh, stamped on a Sri Lankan player so he'll spend 10 minutes on the chair, chair of shame another self so Sri Lanka with a one-man advantage as if they didn't have enough going for them already so they'll really look to apply the hammer here I'm sure as Mubarak goes to touch he's looking for a ball there it is it's the other great thing, seeing some of the ceremonies we had today, the 45th anniversary of AFU, the Asian Rugby Football Union. So many young kids keen on the game of rugby here in Sri Lanka. It's great to see. Mike, we had uh, 6,000 kids as part of that HSBC coaching tour. It was outstanding. And you saw some of those kids here as well. And then when AFU uh, unveiled their new logo to the world, this is exciting times for Asian rugby. 12,000 kids last year and they're aiming for 20,000 this year in the next couple of months so busy times but great work from HSBC as we see Sri Lanka on attack again Saranga hands them off and oh well holding on to the ball so penalty for Kazakhstan Abdul Razakov great competitor the inside centre although to be fair he's been shaded by his opponents today we're really used to it seeing him be on top physically Abdul Azikov, but uh, hasn't been able to show the same stamina today so play will resume just over the halfway line Kazakhstan a man down with 13 or 14 minutes to go Baratov with scrum half Munchkov put the ball into line. He's going to have to hurry. No, he didn't. So free kick again. Disorganisation from Kazakhstan. Anuranga has come on. Now it goes. Roshan to Marija. A lovely wide pass to Herat. Can't get round his man though. Good defence there from Zolotukin. Another set of brothers here for. Uh, the Kazakhstan this time, the Zolo Tuhan brothers, both playing on the wing. So we've got three sets of brothers. We've got the Weeratna brothers from Sri Lanka, the uh, Rajabaksa brothers in there, and then the Zolo Tukov brothers on the other side. Outstanding. Yeah. So Kazakhstan unable to take that ball. That's it. Oh, it dropped the Anuranga. Some tempers flaring out there. It's been a hot old day, and uh, you can just see the fatigue is getting the, most of these players, and tempers are flaring. Really is a hard grind sometimes in Asia, isn't it? When you see the conditions and the heat at uh, 1:30 between Chinese Taipei and Thailand was just unbearable. It's unforgiving actually because the humidity adds to it. So your recovery, you just can't find the oxygen. You know, and you have to try and get used to it as quick as possible. Uh, a few handbags being swung around a bit and I hope it just calms down because it is a very a tough call at 70 minutes gone. Kusalnikov takes it quickly. Scrum half converted to flanker. Nice stepping from Kusalnikov and goes to ground well. Good pop ball. They're running into a lot of dead ends, the Kazakhstan team. Some great defences. Anuranga making amends for the drop ball just a few seconds ago. 
The probing blinds had lovely little slip pass from Baratov. We get it out wide to Zolotulhin, and away he goes. One of the Zolotulhin brothers. Alexander there. Sounds like a trapeze act with the <laughs> flying wingers. And the substitute, Alexander, goes in for the touchdown. Another consolation try for Kazakhstan. That's very much so, I suppose. It was just a, a good passage of play. You see Kazakhstan now step up to the mark. They're working the ball well, got confidence with their hands, a little slip pass on the inside, and then just a wide pass with no defenders there, because Sri Lanka had advanced too much on the defense, and uh, Zola took off uh, just scoring that try. Good pride, a little bit more for pride. You know, there's nothing left. They're, not, they're going to get anything in the next 10 minutes, but it's important for them that they at least feel the ability to run and score some points. So, uh, you can just get the feeling that the Sri Lankans now know the job's done, and and they've done fantastically, but just the intensity going out of the performance. And that's not something that uh, the Dakotas will be happy about, because you've got to maintain your form. You don't want to go pear-shaped and really, uh, you know, you need to spend the time, work, go back to what you are good at, and do what is a regulation basic. Well, that's exactly what you're talking about with Richie McCaw, isn't it? You go the full 80 and you, you play every team at 100%. But, uh, obviously, that's something that the coaches will be thinking about the forthcoming training sessions and getting people ready for next season it's 49 points to 18 as we enter the last stanza of this game the final game of division one tournament here at the hsbc asian five nations sri lanka through to next year's top five and kazakhstan will have to keep themselves happy with knowing they'll play division one next year as abdul razakov takes the ball well spins goes to ground baratov waiting for the ball it's been a bit slow all day. Lafontov this time. Carves off some more territory. And it's uh, Sharif, I believe, at the back there. That's right, he's on for Mubarak, who's taken off the park. Yeah, it's a good introduction to some game time for Sharif. Rararatna to Marija. Anuranga this time holds onto the ball. Slips a lovely pass to Chaturanga. Good stepping from Chaturanga. Knew where his support was. Anuranga. Great job from the tight forward. Good linking play there. What skill. Players coming around offside, but uh, the Sri Lankans carry on. Marija out to Saranga. Can't hold the ball. Summit Sharif, but the penalty. Oh, the referee's coming back. And we may have some more interaction between the assistant referee and the referee. Back, back, back. back, back. And the Kazakhstanis just not happy with the day's proceedings and of course they've got to face the media of friends and family back home as well with two losses out of three games it's not going to be a proud moment for their rugby careers as we listen to the referees again talking in japanese i think it was for a high tackle on the skipper in that corner there when he was running for the corner flag number 15 15 Woo. so lafontov looks like he's going to get a talking to let's have a look He's put in some good ones today, some good spot tackles, but we saw him go a little high earlier on Roshan. Uh, was, was, was too high. No, no. Yes. Yes. no more. Okay. Next time, next step. Okay. All right. Okay. Sorry. Okay. All right. So, bit of contrite behaviour there from uh, Lafontov. So the Sri Lankan machine rolls on. A chance to put some more points on the board here. Is he kicking to touch or tapping? He's going to kick to touch. So we'll see a rolling ball here. I'm sure I was very impressed with the play of Anuranga there in support. Linked a couple of times. Beautiful ball skills. Started his career as an inside centre. So uh, S. W. Chang was telling me that uh, he was the one who nominated that he actually go and play as a hooker. So here we are. He certainly got some ball skills. That's for sure. Diaz. A sure two-handed take and the rolling rules darts again. That's been taken down. Referee says it's accidental. So Sri Lanka keep going. Good physical play. Otsuki sees a knock on in there. So we'll come back for a scrum. <laughs> Kazakhstan guys just want to finish this game. To get on the bus. Catch the plane back home, I think. <laughs> Much relief to have the final whistle go off and then they can hit the ice baths and recover and talk about this sometime later and read themselves in the press. But uh, Sri Lanka still quite happy to uh, try and take the game to them and, 
and you know grind away this is so important no need for an ice bath in El Marty you can just go out and roll in the snow Shano <laughs> wrong time wrong phrase Sri Lanka of course will be uh, quite happy to jump in the ice bath Oh, it's been going all day. Can't doubt his tenacity. Inside the 22, still the font up to try and get them out of that. Here's Zula Tuchin, who's chasing this ball like a madman. Herath could hear him coming too, could hear the footsteps. And he's certainly played well since he came on. He's been very sharp, actually. He's looked uh, a different player to the rest of the uh, Kazakhs. So, interesting. He scored a very good try, but maybe coming off the bench, having the luxury of watching that and just a fresh legs. <laughs> yeah. I rather think Sri Lanka will try and play their full bench now, just give them all a run out so they've... Uh, represented their country at home on a very special 18, occasion 18. penalty to Kazakhstan Kosomikov thinks about taking it quickly but surely they'll kick for position here for a line out but the set piece has really been a nightmare today for Kazakhstan their scrum hasn't worked like clockwork as usual and the line out has been a shambles and it's something they really pride themselves in the tight play the basics so the Punts to the corner, gets just outside the 22. Still a lot of work here to do for Kazakhstan. As I was saying earlier, Mike, uh, all about uh, Kukri coming to Sri Lanka as well. It's a special occasion. Uh, it's coming of age for Sri Lanka rugby when you have an international label come down. As you see Kazakhstan also uh, part of the Kukri network. Wonderful to see and a very special occasion for us here. Bought a couple of t-shirts myself for my kids. They certainly look nice. Sri Lankan rugby plastered all over them, so we'll be flying the flag. Yes, very much so. And of course, uh, my good mate, part of the Sri Lanka Rugby Council, is also very keen on this development for Sri Lanka rugby. The quality in training, in equipment, in, in kit has to be part of it. So the young star Wedekun's on. It'll be good to see how he goes. Good chance for him to display his wheel. And playing at number 10, so in his old pet position, that's where he used to play at school for his school training college. First touch of the ball for Werekun. Nice pass, Chaturanga. Oh, he's certainly played well since he's come on. Oh, Dabare again spills the ball. Well, there's plenty to like about this back performance. Plenty of barricade from the crowd as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kazakhstan just smiling. Here you go. Sheriff with that uh, one hand and Dabra just unable to hold on to that because he's got pressure from behind. Fair enough. But Sri Lanka really have been another dimension. Uh, Mike today, they've just been a class above the Kazakhs today. I have to say that. Of course you do, Sean. But uh, you've proven, your words are proven by just looking at the scoreboard. And uh, it's a great rebalancing, as we said earlier, the head-to-head -head for these two teams. Kazakhstan were 5-1 uh, ahead over the years, but now it's been pegged back. Replacement in the front row, Sean. Kredashina Dushmante is on for uh, Satya Ranatunga, who's had a very good outing. Dushmante, of course, uh, uh, part of the uh, good bench strength that Sri Lanka has. As this ball is mauled now. Again, Zola Tuhin is uh, held up, so it'll be a turnover. Again, they just haven't learned the lesson, the Kazakhstan team. They probably don't. And that's the end of the game. Refer probably whistled up a little earlier. Referee Otsuki had had enough, though. The game beyond doubt for Sri Lanka, 49-18. They're the champions of Division 1, and on they go to Top 5 Rugby. Proud day for Sri Lanka, Sean. Absolutely, Mike. I'm going to have to run downstairs and do some other stuff as uh, Skipper walks off Sri Lanka. Making a little bit of history coming back into Premier Division. It's part of the requirement and good for the coaches, good for Sri Lanka rugby and for the crowd today. This is what they came to see and they must be very proud indeed of their young gladiators. So many heroes for the Sri Lankan team. Uh, the man pulling their strings was Fazil Marija at 10. Some great creative play from him. We saw a strong performance from the centre pairing of Leonage Weraratnas. Pace of plenty on the outsides with Dabare and Herat. And Mubarak, what a rock he was at the back with his kicking game and also positioning, taking all the high balls, diffusing all the bombs. 
It was a great day of rugby, and of course we haven't mentioned the pack as well. Loads of heroes, including the try scorer Chanel Diaz, who scored the first try for a forward uh, for Sri Lanka in this tournament, and uh, he played well all day. Great aerial skills, and uh, plenty of stars in the future for Sri Lanka. Sharu Fernando playing well at blindside flanker as well. As the Sri Lankans celebrate their victory, it's been a tough week. Three games in six days is no easy task. But the Sri Lankans have been composed throughout. They, they beat Chinese Taipei 39 points to eight, then down to Thailand 45-7, and this victory 49-18 over Kazakhstan will be the sweetest because, of course, Kazakhstan were a fixture in top five rugby for the first four or five years and uh, were the last ever Asian champions. So let's take a look at some of the highlights of this game. There were so many. Don't know where to start. But uh, Sri Lanka obviously taking the majority of them. And we saw some real strong work here in the second half.